Now, next theorem. Two chords at the same perpendicular distance from the center to prove that they are of same length. We have two chords here. One chord is here and one chord is here. And given that they have same perpendicular distance from center, this is center and this is a perpendicular distance and you know that it bisect the chord. We know that we have already learned. And same perpendicular distance from center and now we want to prove this chord is equal to this chord in length. How we prove it? First of all, we take this triangle and you can see two triangles here and both these triangles are right triangle because this angle is a right angle and consider these two triangle it given that this length if this length is OA and if this length is OB it is given that OA is equal to OB because they are same perpendicular distance from the center and now you know that this OC and this OD are equal. This side and this side are also equal. What is the reason? They represent radius of the circuit. Therefore, this radius are equal. Both are radius. And now we see these two triangle. The hypotenuse is equal and one small sides are equal. Then surely by right triangle of Pythagorean triplet theorem, these two sides are also equal. We know that Pythagorean triplet 8, 6, 10 is a Pythagorean triplet 8 square plus 6 square 8 square is 64, 6 square is 36 and 10 square is 100. Then 64 plus 36 is represent sum is equal to 100. If this side is 10 hypotenuse, if this side is 10 hypotenuse and these two sides are equal, if these two sides are 6 and 6, what happened? Surely the third side should be 8 and this side should be also 8. Therefore by Pythagorean triplet we know that these two sides are also equal. If these two sides are equal and if these two sides are equal and if two represent a right triangle then the third side are also equal. There is no need of any other proof. Therefore we can see CB this half of the code CB is equal to half of the code DA. That is half of the code is here DA. Then you know that CB is equal to DA. Then 2CB is equal to 2DA. Double of CB is equal to double of DA. And what is double of CB? Double of CB is the total code. And what is double of DA? Double of DA represent here the total chord. Therefore, these two chords are equal. Then we can change the theorem as not only two chords. It is not only two chords. All chords. There are so many other chords at the same distance. All chords at the same perpendicular distance from the center are equal. We can construct another chord here with the same perpendicular distance. This is same perpendicular distance and we can construct a, another codes also. Then these three codes are also equal. We can construct another code with same perpendicular distance here. Then that code is also equal. Then all codes from the same perpendicular distance from the center has equal length. Now, prove that Chords of the same length in a circle are at the same distance from the center. This theorem is the reverse of the theorem which we studied now. Then what is the reverse here? In this problem, for the proof, we want to construct the perpendicular distance to this chord which make 90 degree with this chord. And also we want to draw from center the perpendicular distance to this chord which makes here 90 degree. And now we complete 
the radius here also you draw the radius here then we can get to right triangle again the theorem we studied first what is that chords of same perpendicular distance from the center has equal length now this theorem states the reverse of the theorem what is that the chords of the same length in the latest problem we get same perpendicular distance but we want to now here prove that we want to prove that this is a perpendicular distance are equal but given that this chord ab and this chord cd has equal length ab is equal to cd is given we want to prove these two are equal that is not given then comparing these two right triangle ab is equal to cd we know that half of ab if ab is equal to cd half of ab is equal to again equal to half of cd then what is half of ab we can stay here p then half of ab is equal to what ap is equal to what is here cd and you substitute here the letter q then we get half of cd is equal to what cq then we get ap and cq are equal and also we know that these two sides of the triangles are equal what is the reason that is the same radius or radius of the same circuit we get this is a center o then oa is equal to what oc then again we get for a right triangles hypotenuse are equal and one small sides are equal then we know that by pythagorean theorem the third side should be also equal that is we get po is equal to what get qo what is po and qo these are the perpendicular distance from the center to the chord therefore the theorem the two sides of the theorem are equal what is the two sides if distance is perpendicular distance is equal that implies what chords has equal length and the reverse of the theorem is that what chords has equal length the perpendicular distance is also equal two chords intersect at a point on a circle you can see here two chords and that two chords intersect at a point on the circle on the circle means not here and not here this is out of the circle and this is inside of the circle but these two chords intersected on the circle this is a point on the circle and the diameter through this point bisect the angle between the chords you can see the diameter of the circle this center diameter of circle through this point bisect this angle bisect this angle means what these two angles are equal that is two angles are equal that is bisect prove that the chords have same length if this chord is ab and this chord is ac we want to prove that ab is equal to ac for that proof we consider the perpendicular distance again here we want to consider the perpendicular distance that is this angle is 90 degree and here also we want to draw the perpendicular distance that is here we want to make the angle 90 degree therefore these two perpendicular distance you get and now consider this triangle apo and this triangle aqo we want to prove these two triangles are equal how we compare these two triangles here the ao of this side is also equal to ao of this side that is common side in consider these two triangle we get ao is equal to ao that is the reason is what same or common sides therefore one side is equal and now you get this angle 
PAO of this triangle is equal to this angle QAO of this triangle that is angle PAO of the upper triangle is equal to angle QAO of the lower triangle what is the reason that is bisect the triangle the diameter bisect the angle is given now we get one side and one angle you have a theorem S A A or S A S or S S S for comparing these two triangles. Which theorem is applicable here? One side and one angle is given. One side and one angle is given. Therefore, there is no chance of SSS. That is SAA or SAS. And the given two sides, these two sides, it is not given they are equal. And we want to prove these sides are equal. Therefore, there is no chance of SAS also. Therefore, only a chance of SAA. What is SAA said? One side and one angle is equal. We want to prove the next one angle is also equal. The next angle you can get here what these two angles are equal these two angles are equal therefore by SAA this theorem we can say these two triangles are equal here angle P is equal to angle Q therefore these two triangles are equal triangle APQ APO is equal to triangle a Q O then we get if two triangles are equal angle opposed to same angles are equal therefore here A P is angle opposed to O this angle and A Q is angle opposed to this angle these two angles are equal two angles are equal therefore third angle is also equal therefore we get A P is equal to AP is equal to what? AQ. AP and AQ are equal. But AP represent what? Half of AB. Therefore, 2 AP is equal to what? 2 AQ. 2 AP is equal to AQ. What is 2 AP? 2 AP is AB. 2 AP is equal to AB. That is equal to 2 AQ is equal to AC. Therefore, we get what? AB is equal to AC, hence the theorem. In the picture on the right, the angle between the radii and chords are equal. This is the chord and this is the radii. Therefore, angle between them is this angle. And this angle is equal to given that this angle. Prove that the chords are of same length. You want to prove that the chords are of same length. Again, we construct the perpendicular distance from center. And here also we consider the perpendicular distance from center. And it is the perpendicular distance, therefore this angle is 90 and this angle is 90. Same procedure. We have O, A, P. And here also O, B, Q. And consider these two triangles. What happened? We have O, A is equal to O, B. What is the reason? Radius. We have O, A is equal to OB that is both represent the radius and angle A is equal to angle B angle A is equal to what angle B and there is again a chance of SAA that is two angle and one side theorem here two angles is equal to two angles of this triangle and one side are also equal therefore we get it these two triangles are equal that is a o p the triangle is equal to b o q two triangles are equal therefore we get side opposite to same angles are equal if these two angles are equal these two angles are equal third angle is also equal we know that therefore angle opposed to this side is AP. Again, we can say AP is equal to what? 
angle opposed to same side opposed to same angle that is a cube a p is equal to a cube and you get 2 a p is equal to what 2 a cube and what is 2 a p 2 a p is equal to a c 2 a p is equal to what a c therefore a c the angle is equal to and 2 b q 2 a p is equal to b q if you want to uh, correct here b q a p is equal to b q therefore 2 a p is equal to b q then what is 2 b q 2 b q is equal to b d we can substitute here d therefore b d that a c is equal to what b d hence the proof